First thing first, I wanted to say is happy for you and for your families. I wish you guys success and happiness for you and all your family members. Here you see on the right, a stamp and the word bueno. Okay, on the left, we see an unrecognized, um, uh, I don't know, rows and boxes. They should be referring to something. That's the only non-clear uh, text that stands out. So probably the direction is to the right. So it is this one. Now, given that there is an input area here, the chances are open for, as you know, web application vulnerabilities. Among them are the injection vulnerabilities and uh, the uh, basically, you know, cross-site scripting and so on. So action area could be, again, the recipient field or the text input. Um, so how to find out? First, we're going to leave the basic the basic input as is, and then we use one of the basic injection techniques, which is using a semicolon, indicating that we want to follow this up with another command. To do that, again, I'm going to do a different approach uh, this time. Uh, instead of using uh, online services, I'm going to tell you how I use ChatGPT to extract these values. Okay, so here, this is the prompt I wrote, given the below RSA encryption values from a public key, N and E, derive the values of P and Q and the private RSA key. Here is the reasoning behind uh, the values that were extracted by ChatGPT. And below we have a Python script that we can run on our own to find the values P, Q, and D and extract the private key. Namely, the private key here, or the value of the private key, will be stored in the D uh, variable. Okay? We're still pursuing Cypher's location. If you remember, previously we failed to get a hold of Cypher after compromising his machine in task 10 using a, a malicious micro office document. He locked us out and he felt that we got access to his machine. Now we're going to use another method. We get access to one of his trusted providers, Shadow Byte. So there could be some vulnerability here that allows us to change our balance. So our balance now is to Ethereum. Our job is to drain the balance of the treasury so that we transfer all the balance to our wallet. And as always, check out my bio or the YouTube channel for the full video. Thank you.